Hi, here at Five Things. I want to get you ready for your Monday. The Oxford County Sheriff's Office is looking for a woman they say escaped custody. The department says Natasha Kaufman was arrested on warrants that were related to assault and theft. Now, while she was being processed yesterday, authorities say she complained of a stomach pain, so she was taken to the hospital in Norway, but then left the facility, avoiding corrections officers who were with her. She's supposed to be five foot three, brown hair, hazel eyes. Kaufman not considered armed and dangerous. More than 30 people are recovering from injuries after a car crashed into a restaurant in New Hampshire. Fire Department says it happened yesterday at Looney Bin Bar and Grill in Laconia. 14 people were taken to two different hospitals. Two of them suffered extreme injuries to their legs. Now 20 others were treated at the scene and officials are still investigating what caused that crash. Dispatchers in Penobscot County will soon make an extra $2 an hour. The director of the dispatch center told the BDN that the center has been operating at half capacity for months now. So pay ranges from $19 to $25 an hour. New hires will also get a $2,000 sign on bonus. Officials say if they are not able to hire more workers, the center will have to reduce some of its services to limit the number of calls that come in. Two New England states are joining a potential lawsuit against the Environmental Protection Agency. Massachusetts and Vermont, along with eight other states, are threatening to sue over standards for wood-burning stoves. The lawsuit accuses the EPA of failing to review standards for the stoves. The states say programs encouraging people to trade in older stoves or other wood-burning appliances haven't improved air quality. And the 195th Army Band with the Maine National Guard will continue its tour of Maine today. The band will perform at the L.L. Bean stage in Freeport at 6 o'clock tonight. There are four more concerts after tonight. Old Orchard Beach, Brunswick, Bangor, and Old Town. The concerts are free for everybody, so go check them out. As long as it's not raining, Jessica, we're going to find <laughs> no, out the weather. I know, big pressure for sure. Uh, things are going to clear up kind of gradually as we go throughout the day today. It's going to improve quite a bit by this afternoon. We'll start to dry out. You can see a little bit of sunshine this afternoon and things eventually look good once we get into Wednesday and Thursday, kind of the middle of this week. I mean, beach day is there. Perfect. Yeah. Well, a little bit of hope for us. Exactly. Eventually. Yeah, we'll leave it on that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Thank you.